Hey guys, welcome back to RMA Garage. I'm Mark and I'm glad you joined us today. If you've been following the series, we have been working on my son's YZ250FX, doing some little maintenance items here and there, some large, some small. Today, another small one. We're gonna be removing the rear brake lever and cleaning the pivot point, re-greasing it, putting it back together. So that's it. Let's get to it. All right guys, we're here at the rear brake lever and we need to take this bolt out. But before we can take this bolt out, we have to take this little clip in the back here off. We also need to take this little pivot point off. So that's what we're gonna be doing first. So if I can hold the camera and grab this clip and still keep everything in frame. There we go. So there's the clip. All right, so that's the first one. All right, so the second thing we gotta do is take this clip off here. This is a carter pin, and basically it's been used a bunch of times. I may end up replacing this after a little while, but that's a tiny little thing. And what that does is that allows this to come out. So this should, with a little bit of coaxing, There, a little bit of dirt fell off, but there's the, the pin. All right, so the next thing we're gonna take off is this bolt here, and this is a number six hex, and that should go in there like so. There goes the spring. There you have it. Now we're gonna, the spring went flying. Let me grab it. So here's the spring that went flying off. That spring was attached right here and then of course it was attached right here. So you don't have to struggle trying to take this spring off um, before taking the bolt off. It'll just come right, right off. And when we put the lever back on, uh, we'll do the same way because it's so much easier to do this uh, with um, while putting the lever on and not having to put this on after the lever's been bolted. So, all right, so as you can see, it's a little dirty on the back side. Not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. And so this here, the first time I saw this, it was kind of like, well, does this come out? How does this work? Basically, it's just a friction fit. So we're going to basically wink. <laughs> there you go. So what you have here is a bunch of, little, there's a rubber washer there and a rubber washer there. And that's kind of like the little friction fit and you can see some dirt and whatever. So this basically fits through here and it, it's kind of, kind of a unique design. There's the rubber grommets, you, when, when you push this through, it really doesn't move much. It more or less stabilizes it and it doesn't allow it to go up and down. So it, there has been a fair amount of grease on here, and, but there has been dirt that has gotten inside there. So we're gonna clean that out and clean this up. Okay, with grease, I don't use soap and water because it obviously doesn't work very well with soap and water. So we are going to use just a rag and clean off as much as the, the grease as we can. And then once we get most of the grease, if not all the grease, then I'll dip it in the water and clean out most of the dirt. And again, this is the, the fun part. Q. 
cue the music. There's always a part of cleaning that's just the mundane, getting your fingers dirty, trying to get it all off in a relatively quick pace. Now see there's the, the channel is starting now to come open so there's like a little groove in there which I've always packed full of grease. I don't know why, but it just seemed like, yeah, maybe I should put grease in that. There we go. So that's all clean. And the grease for the most part is, is off of that. And then we'll take the lever. Not a lot of grease on this. That's just more or less aluminum to aluminum. You can see it's, you know, when aluminum touches aluminum or anything, but it turns black. So that's what you have there. And then in here, there's a little bit of grease still in the center of this. And that's it. So the rest of this is just caked on dirt. All right, so just in our last video, we're, we're gonna be using some nice hot water. Kind of getting everything wet. Maybe let that soak for a little bit. We do have, we do have this, you can get that wet. And again, I like using the brass brush. Getting into all the little grooves. Now you gotta be careful with this. Obviously you got the two little rubber O-rings there. We don't wanna really start gouging into that because those will scratch. But the, the, the bristles, and then there's a little bit of dirt and uh, grease combo right there on the inside. And that we can scrape off with this brush. That's starting to look better. As you can see, this really wasn't too dirty, but sometimes after, again, I've told this through these series, my son didn't ride his bike much over the summer. So this is a very light, uh, a light cleaning. This thing probably would have been completely caked if he would have ridden all year long and we hadn't uh, really addressed this at all. All right, so that's really looking clean now. Nice and shiny. And we'll take the, we'll take the rag here and just kind of get, see if we can get any more grease off. around the lip here. Let's see if we can clean that off any better. So I've often wondered if the super motocross and all the professional racers, like how, how far do they go with their cleaning after every race? Like I know I've seen them completely rebuild the engines and make sure everything is fine, but do they go through this type of process after every race? I wonder if anybody knows, leave a comment below. All right, that looks super. That looks fantastic. All right, so now we got the brake lever here. And 
and there's there's a little bit of dirt caked on here that isn't going to rub off without some agitation. So that's what we're doing. Providing a little bit more force on this to try and get all the dirt off. So here, this is, this is the worst part. Getting inside of here. That's already looking pretty good. Oh yeah, that cleaned up good. And we have the spring. Should we clean the spring off? <laughs> I'm crazy about this stuff. All right, so we got our dry rag now. We're just more or less cleaning. Sometimes the last bit of dirt comes off when you dry it off. That looks so nice and shiny. All right, so we got the brake lever done. We got this bolt here. This is gonna be nice and shiny. And that looks really good. Got the spring. Spring looks good. And we didn't really clean this up much, but I'm gonna dip it in the water. This is the pin. This just basically had some a little bit of dirt on it. Now you can look, you can sometimes inspect this and see if there's grooves developing in here. There are no grooves. This bike still relatively has low hours on it. So this is still good, no issues. So the last thing we wanna do is make sure that this is all nice and clean. Um, we'll take a wet rag here and we'll clean behind here. Kind of just get this all nice. This boot, it's a little dirty around here. Kind of inspect all of this, make sure it's not bent from any tip overs or falls. Maybe we'll get a little crazy here. Kind of clean around this with the brush. Just getting any dirt that may have been caked in there in the threads. Okay. So that looks good, nice and smooth. This is all nice and clean here. Take the dry rag. And clean that up. So that all looks good. Okay, so now we're ready for assembly. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to put some grease on this because this is going to get pushed in. That's going to get shoved in there, but we want to make sure that there's some grease in there. So what I do is I just put a light coat of grease on this bolt, just and, and I use uh, uh, the uh, lithium soap based grease, race grease, Yamaha, Yamalube. 
Uh, I still get a kick that this is actually red. They should have made it blue. <laughs> but the, the grease is actually red. So all I'm going to do is put a light coating of grease on here. I'm not going to get too crazy. There. There we go. So that's, that's a little bit. Take the brake lever. We'll slide this down into it. Like so. And we'll wipe off all any of the excess that's on the, the brake lever itself. All right, so now we're ready to put this on, but now we have the spring. So this is, this is kind of hard to film here, but if you look at, if you look at this, that little piece and this little piece, that's where the spring goes in, okay? So what I do is I will hook the spring onto the bike here. I'm trying to keep my arms out for the camera view. So I'll, I'll stick that like that, and then I will slide this underneath here, okay? That now, it's connected. Now I don't have to struggle with trying to get that. So with this in place, we're gonna give this a go. This is the way I've always done it. We'll see how well this works. Okay, slide that out of the way like so. Perfect. Okay, so now the spring's on and we didn't struggle with trying to get that spring on after the fact. Okay. All right, so we're ready to put this one back in, and I don't know what the opinion is for the group, but uh, I never greased this. I used to, and it would make me feel good, but most of the time, by the time two or three washings have happened, the grease is completely gone from this. And even when I took it off, there's no grease on it at all. So I, I typically don't do that. I just shove it in there and hope for the best. Look for wear lines. If this wears out too much, then I'll replace it. Uh, so what you got to do is you got to push the rear brake lever down because this is completely extended and you got to wiggle this into place from the back side and kind of find the center. There we go. We have the washer that goes on first and then we have the pin, little carter pin that fits down hopefully through there. back there we go that's all good test it out make sure we're good hey good you don't want to go too much you don't want to throw the piston out on the rear caliper and the last thing we want to do is put on this little uh, clip now that clip needs to be put on after we torque this. Well, actually, you could probably do it right now because it's gonna be easier to put this on with the actual pin itself being accessible. So what I do, I guess what we can do is find the hole in the back here and then slide that in And that's going to be hard to see, but you slide that on first. Now it will spin in the back, but it won't hit anything. And the hole is lined up perfectly for me to slide it in this way. So then when I tighten this up, it'll spin circular and it's probably in a position that's not going to be easy for me to shove that. So we're going to torque this. I torque everything on this bike. Uh, 19 foot pounds is what the book says. So we will. 19 is not very much. Here we go. 
it doesn't feel like it, it doesn't feel like enough. Like I, I should really wrench on this to make sure, you know, it's the brake lever. You don't want it falling off, but 19 pounds is all they say. All right, guys, that's it. We're done. Quick and easy. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Short and sweet and simple. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe because more videos on the way and click on the bell so you won't miss them. Um, more stuff coming, fork seals, rear shock, linkage, valve clearances, uh, maybe a few other things that I haven't thought of yet. Uh, of course, we're gonna probably do new um, engine coolant. Um, I would like to inspect the clutch um, just to see what it looks like. I've never taken it apart before, so we're gonna give that a go. And maybe a few other little things. Um, if you guys have any uh, desire to see things, leave the comments below. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.